Alright, sorry guys. I'm trying to get into classes for college and it's just being kind of difficult to meet people at college, you know. Alright, so let's continue. <laughs> see anything in this pile of smoke that's bad. Then I saw the guy like the last second. So stupid. Oh, why is there so many people? Why? 
Man, this guy's hiding behind his smoke there, shooting me. I can't see my target. I can't, you know, shoot my target if I can't see him. And he's through the smoke, so... I just frickin' quit. Ah, it's so stupid. It's just like, it's like so many people. Saved his girlfriend's life. Who? Raul Passos? Yeah, Raul Passos. Yeah, I know. I thought you guys were very close. We were. Well, you know what? I did a background check. Huh? Jesus. I mean, I thought the two of you worked for Rodrigo Bronco. Yeah, so? So? Did you get paid by Victor? Victor? No. Well, Raul Passos did. Six times dating back to a few months before you turned up. He even paid for a ticket for him to go to New York. Why? I don't know. My guess is to meet you. But why? I don't know. Maybe he liked you. Maybe he thought you needed a break. That's funny. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe he wanted some dumb gringo to come down here to shoot things up and maybe to take the watch for Rodrigo when he got shot. I don't believe that. Why? Because you're not a dumb gringo, or because you are? You know, I have no fucking clue anymore. He got bullet holes like everywhere on his arm. Okay. Let me ask you something. What? Well, what is it that you really thought that you were doing down there in Panama? Hmm? And don't tell me you're so naive as to think you were just down there guarding a woman. I didn't know what to say. I had been so loaded in Panama, I could scarcely remember my own name. I know things have got real heavy. Chapter 11. Scent and oil. Okay, can't read it. It's too fast. Panama had been my second job with Passos. The first had been easy. Money for banging waitresses at some fancy wedding in the Caribbean. This seemed like another easy gig. It was the middle of the day, and like any self-respecting idiot, I was half cut. There he is. Marcelo, you're going to be the death of me! 
man, in 10 years, you're gonna fry. You sure beats New Jersey, huh, Max? Some ways. Hey, come on, it's awesome! Yeah. Everybody's drunk and tanned and listening to house music. Most of them have plastic surgery and they're all doing blow. I guess it is kind of like Jersey, huh? <laughs> That's very funny, Max, eh? Hey, soldier! Oh. oh, I gotta quit drinking so much. I give myself serious liver damage. Yeah, big deal. You can always get a new one. Relax. <laughs> I hope you're not drinking on the job, gentlemen. <laughs> Kidding, I hope you are. <laughs> Stay off the air, yo, hmm? I don't have enough to share. I'm kidding again! <laughs> this guy's... Oh, Mikey. Even though we just met, I feel like we are... Mikey? Friends, you know? <laughs> I feel like safe with you guys. Know that. Like, real safe. That's great. And I love New York. Uh, the East Hamptons. Do you know it? Uh, not really. I, I spent my honeymoon in Montauk. Oh, where's that? It's just down the road. Whatever. Last time I was there, I got so wasted, I nearly shit myself. <laughs> I didn't know you were married. Yeah, well, my wife passed away. Good. No, not good. Bad. Real bad. But good because now I can get you laid a lot. <laughs> it is great to be single, hey? I love a woman. She's with another and she doesn't want to know it. Fucker. I mean, could you believe that shit? Okay. Excuse me, I'm going to uh, go to speak to Felipe. Felipe! You crazy crackhead, lay off the yayo, hey! Passos. Walk with me. Yeah. What's the deal with this guy, eh? He's kind of stuck up. He's a good guy. Yeah, sure, ta bon, ta bon, but I have him smile a bit more, you know? Cause life, life is good! <laughs> Where's the truck? It's coming. He's soon. Uh, so, yeah. I gotta go right now. Okay. Good party, man. Alright, I'm gonna go eat some lunch, and then we'll continue with the game. See ya.